Clackamas River region plays a very important role in the history of both PGE as well as Oregonians. And it all started right here at the Faraday Powerhouse. Construction started in 1902 and was completed in 1907. Can you imagine building a powerhouse today with no power, no cars, no cranes? Um, what amazing feat to build out this project. Surveying the river, um, finding the best geological formation to put the dams, and then how to transfer that water into the lake, through the pinstocks, into the units, back into the Clackamas River. So to denote the completion of this wonderful project that PG was so proud of, we had a huge celebration at the plant where members of the community of Estacada and employees and operators came together to celebrate. Estacada was laid out as a company town back in 1904, and uh, Estacada was a destination area. They had a grand hotel, they had a park in Estacada that People would ride the trains out and spend the weekend. There were a lot of, of families associated with uh, the plants and, and what have you, particularly here at Faraday. And uh, that tradition went on for many years. In fact, I think there's still probably some people working here that uh, are related to early families in the Estacada area. The operators, in, when the plant was completed, were very hands-on. They worked right on the operating floor. Um, to start and stop generators. They went out and turned valves. They turned controls and open and closed breakers right there in front of them. Soon after the power plant went online, in 1908, unit one of the Faraday powerhouse spun out of control one day and caused a lot of catastrophic damage around the plant. Generators were in bits and pieces. However, people from the plant, plant operators, members of the community, everyone came together and within a month the power plant was back in operation. PGE was one of the first places where they actually built fish ladders originally with the dams. Most places built a dam and they came back and built a fish ladder later. As a beginning biologist here, it was all brand new and exciting to me just to come out and actually be able to work with fish and wildlife. Um, and as, as the job grew, I think, and things changed, I think it was really exciting for me to work with the agencies, to work with uh, some of the, the local community even, to come up with things that PGE did to, to improve the area and make it better. We harnessed the power of the Clackamas River, yet there were times its high, rushing waters filled the powerhouse at Faraday. 64 flood took out the Casadero Dam, Casadero Dams provides water to the Faraday Lake, which supplies water to the five units here and, and unit six. And uh, that had to be rebuilt. Uh, we're in big trouble. Uh, <laughs> okay, about 65,000 TFS in the river. And we got up to within 11 inches of going over this country well. It does that, it'll flood the powerhouse. I remember 96 in particular, of course, that I was operating in the plant at Faraday, and uh, ironically, I, I had just broken my leg, and so I could run the computers, but I couldn't do the run and back and forth on slippery, wet floors in the plants. So one of the other operators physically carried me into the control room and set me down in front of the computer to help get it up and running. Even through difficult times since 1907, PG employees have been keeping the powerhouse running and the lights on for our customers. We are really excited for the new Faraday Powerhouse because the old powerhouse was not designed with safety in mind. It was flooded and it's not designed for seismic resiliency. So today we can find parts, our employees will be safe, and this will not flood during a high water event. All things change over time and usually for the better. We are going to make some improvements here that will help um, both power production and the local fish population, so that's good. Rebuilding the Faraday Powerhouse gives PG a, a great opportunity to think about what parts of this historic structure we want to preserve for posterity. Powering the future while protecting the past has been one of our guiding mottos in this company. Um, for instance, we will be repurposing parts of the pen stock, the iconic metal sash windows, and using them as interpretive panels outside. I've worked with some fabulous people over the years. Um, operators, uh, maintenance workers, foremen. They've taught me so much. Love those people. We are standing in the new control center that's um, 
going to be moved into probably within in, in the next month or so. We'll be operating with new control systems out of this room and I do hope that the operators following me that we set it up correctly and they're able to operate from here for another hundred years. The employees are just as dedicated now as they were then in learning the plant and the projects and what have you and uh, I think it's it's in good hands. The best years of hydro are in front of us. We are proud of our history and we are looking forward to the next hundred years of history right here at Faraday.